So in the series of learning Python programming language, in the previous video we have seen one coding exercise. Program we have written a program to find out maximum among a list of numbers, right? And also we have done one exercise uh, to find out average height from list of heights, right? So in those, uh, although in those uh, exercises, in those videos, we have used this function range function, right? But in this video, I'll be talking about it about this function in detail, right? With many examples, okay? Proper syntax and uh, you know in how many ways you can use this range function. Right, what is the working of this range function? So, if you have seen those previous coding exercises, then basic idea you have, I think, about this range function. It will produce, it will generate a series of numbers, right? And so, let me just show you first of all the syntax. You will get it better with the help of example. So, just write a range. Here we have basically three arguments: start, stop, and one is step size but these three are not compulsory to you know it's not mandatory to give all the three arguments in this range function right so you can simply give something like this range start means starting point of that series of numbers and it is completely optional by default it is zero by default if you don't give stop means where to stop this series right it is compulsory obviously you have to provide way to stop maybe you want to print number from 0 to 10 so you have to tell like you have to stop at 10 you have to tell this computer through this program or through this function so you have to give this is mandatory to give stop step size is also optional by default step size is 1 now what is this step size let me just show you an example if if i write something like this if i write range 5 so maybe you are thinking we are providing only one argument so it is what so obviously by default start is 0 step size is 1 so this 5 would be because this stop only one argument is mandatory to specify so this is what stop 5 so it will not produce till 5 the range would be started from 0 then 1 then 2 then 3 then 4 like this 5 numbers 1 2 3 4 5 not till 5. So, whatever you will get here, you will give here minus 1. Till minus 1 it will print. 5 minus 1, 4. Right? But if you want to print, if you want to start from a specific number, not 0. Like I want to start from 2. So, you can give start point and stop point where you want to stop. I want to print till 2 to 5. 2 to 5. 5 including. So, you have to specify here 6. Now, it will print 2. 3, 4, 5 because this is stop, stop minus 1, till stop minus, minus 1 it will print, right. As well as if you give range like 2, 6 and here by default, by default step size is 1. So see we are increasing by 1, 2 plus 1, 3 plus 1 plus 1 like this. If I want to skip step size is 2, so it means it will print from 2 it will start then 2. 3 and 4. So, it will skip 3 and it will print 4. 2 step size. 1, 2. So, it will skip 3 and 4 would be printed. After that, nothing would be printed because 1. But after that, at second, we have nothing because the range is still 6. So, it will print only 2 and 4. Right? So, basically, the idea is how it will print this thing. Suppose this start point is i, this is j, this is k. So, how it will work if you provide all the three things? First, it would print i, then i plus k, then i plus 2k, i plus 3k, till this is j, this is j, j minus 1. So, this is like general formula we can say if you provide everything. And obviously, for this also, this formula will work because by default here i is a 0 and k is. 1 and j is 5 so you can put all the three things in this formula and you will get you will get the series only right now we can use this range function with for loop if you want to loop through a set of code or specific a block of code for specific number of time then you can use a range here what is the formula how we can use just write down for variable name any variable name you can take in range 
and here you can provide anything like i j and k and there you can write down some statements whatever statement you want to execute so this whatever you will write here this code would be executed a specific number of time how many times that would depend what you what you will provide in this range function right so we can also use this range function to loop through a, a set of code a specific number of time right based on that we'll see one coding exercise in next video so now let me let's do some practical and we'll see on laptop how this range function works okay so let's create here a new file and the name range underscore function right dot py now see basically let's see range function i am just giving one argument and whatever it will give i am storing that into a variable a right but in a we, we cannot simply print a because we have range will produce 0 1 2 3 4 4 till 5 number so in a using indexes we can print like print now a of 0 if you want to print a of 0 that would be what c 0 and a of 1 would be here 1 as you can see right now suppose i am not taking this from 2 i am going to print 2 till 5 so starting point now at 0th at 0th index we would be having what let's see c 2 okay so like this we can print so let's see use this in for loops so if you want to print all the numbers rather than you can simply write print a of 0 then a of 1 2 3 like this right but obviously we will not if i want to print range from 1 to 10 so we will not uh, write this print statement 10 times so better idea we have for loop so we can iterate this so for i in a here the list name or you can say variable name is a so i in a right and simply we can print i rather than using this indices that would be fine so it will print 2 3 4 right and 2 2 suppose i am printing 2 to 15 with step size is 2 so this time what it will print c 2 then 4 then 6 8 something like this step size is 2 so it will skip one element if step size is 3 then it will skip two element it will skip 3 and 4 then 5 would be printed as you can see right and here you can also use negative negative thing if i am writing here minus 5 let's see minus 3 so step size is minus 3 simply the formula is i then i plus 1 uh, sorry i plus k i plus 2k i plus 3k like this right okay if in this case let's run this and see you will get nothing why so because here see i is equal to 2 j is equal to 15 k is equal to minus 3 so let's put this thing in the formula okay so 2 first thing is 2 would be printed fine then i plus k means 2 plus minus 3 by it would be 2 plus minus 3 means 2 minus 3 it would be minus 1 but uh, once first 2 then minus 1 then 2 plus 2k 3 2 is a 6 means 2 minus 6 minus 5 but obviously till 14 we are going to print so it is not going to be any you know sequence of numbers 2 minus 1 and minus 6 something like this so it will print nothing so you have to give here you know a valid range valid step size start and stop something like this so if i give here and see it's 215 if i give here 0 0 is also not allowed see it will give an error in line number 1 we have value error range argument 3 must not be 0 so these are some rules you can write down like the argument 3 the step size cannot be 0 because if step size is 0 then how we are going to move forward or maybe backward 
there should be some step size right so it cannot be zero and all the three arguments start stop and step size must be integer right you cannot take here string or float or boolean value or anything else suppose you take here string this two is string and step size i am taking two let's run this see type error string object cannot be interpreted as an integer in line number one it should be integer right so let's take one more example if if i write here like this in negative sorry uh, like from 10 to 1 you want to print that also you can do start size is 10 stop size should be 0 and nothing okay this case it will not print anything see no output you will get because by default k is 1 so 10 plus 1 i is 10 10 plus 1 is 11 but stop size is uh, sorry the the stop point is 0 so we are moving 10 11 12 we cannot reach to 0 right so this would not print anything but you can do here one thing you can write down here minus 1 the step size you can give minus 1 here it will print c 10 9 8 7 till 1 it will print like this in reverse order also you can print negative also you can give and if i write something like this like minus 1 minus 10 and minus 1 let's run this what you will get see minus 1 to minus 9 it will print this thing is valid right so how it will work you can simply put that i j k values into the formula by default i value is 0 k value is 1 and obviously one value must be there right so you can put all the values in the formula if, if it is working then it will give some output otherwise it will not give any output so now we have one quiz like you have to add numbers from 1 to 100 and you have to print the sum how you will do this pause the video and try this out so i hope you have done this exercise now let's do this let's take first a variable suppose total total is equal to at first 0 so for i in now what range i want from 1 to 100 so i can specify in range from 1 to 100 but you cannot write down 100 here because it will take till 99 till the stop point minus 1 so you have to specify 101 and here we can rather than printing this we can simply do what simple total plus equal to i or you can write down total is equal to total plus i that is also fine right and outside of this for loop we can simply print total right so let's run this it will give you 5050 and this is the answer 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus up to 100 it would be 5050 right so i hope you got what is range function how to use it how many ways we can use this range function in for loop how we can use this thing right so in the next video we will see one coding exercise so now it's in the next video till then bye bye take care